In this video with the Onking, we're going to learn how to install Anki and how to get going with the very basic buttons. This includes all of the deck buttons, browsers, the options, how to create new decks, as well as on the right there is what it looks like when you get into the browser, and we will talk about what all those different things mean and how to use them. Okay, first we'll talk about how to download and install Anki, and then we'll talk about kind of the basic user interface. If you go to AnkiWeb.net, that'll take you to this page here where you can sign up for an account. That's important. Uh, you will want one so that you can sync it between different things. Uh, the computer version is free. Uh, if you click on this, it'll take you to the computer version. But I also wanted to show you that on the App Store, this is the Apple App Store, there's a $25 app for iPhones, iPads. It is free on Android. I highly recommend it. It's totally worth it. If you go to this page and we click on the computer version to download it, it will bring you to this page. If you scroll down a little bit, there's different Windows and Mac, but there's also different versions. Get Anki 2.0. You do not want 2.1. 2.0 is the better version. It's supported for a lot more apps. Uh, 2.1 is still kind of in the beta phase and doesn't work necessarily all the time with what we'll be showing. So get Anki 2.0. That, that is the key. Once you've downloaded that, then you can click on this Docs button here. It'll take you to the manual, and this is the 2.1 manual. You're going to want to go to the 2.0 manual. I strongly recommend everybody read through this entire manual. That's what I did. That's how I learned how to use it really well, and everybody else came and asked me for questions. It won't take you very long. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run. Once you get downloaded, it'll take you to this page. This is the basic page. Now, I already have a lot of decks here. You probably will have just a default deck. You can create decks here or import decks from other people. Uh, when you create a deck, you just type the name for it. If you want to, like I, I have decks within decks. When you type the name, you would type it exactly like it is, capitals and all, and then do two colons, and then you could type the second deck's name right there. These buttons here next to the decks will let you rename them. They'll let you export them. If we export, you can include the scheduling information, so the cards that you've been doing, or you can not include it. Most of the time you're probably not going to include it so that somebody else can start them over. Or you can go to the options menu and we have a whole video dedicated to these settings. The other settings are up here on the main thing under preferences. Again, that video will cover all of that. This button over here will sync it. Now the first time you click that, it will ask for your sign-in information that we showed you just barely, and you'll have to log in. But once, once you've logged in, you just click that and it will sync it between different devices. This button here is for statistics. It'll show you kind of what things you, how, how your studying is going. There's a whole video on that as well. This button here is to add cards. There's multiple different card types you can do, and you you can also customize your cards in here. We have videos for each of those as well. And this here is the browser. This is where you go to find your cards to actually go through them and add or change them. So you can go through the whole collection. You can see I have over 30,000 cards in mine right now. You can click, you can choose, you know, the cards you've added or studied today, the cards you got wrong today. You can get all the ones you've marked. This is a good way to mark things so that you can go back and look at them later. The leech cards are ones that you've missed multiple times. And so maybe something's wrong with it and you need to go back. You can tell I've missed this card a lot. Uh, these here are your decks. This image here, these are all your different card types. So you can find all cards of a certain type. Uh, and then all of these down here are tags that you've added to cards. And I'll show you, there's two other things I'll throw in here. If we go here, um, this right here, this is a closed note, and we have two separate closes. So you can see it acts effectively as two separate cards. Now if I were to go in here and delete this, this card stays here even though I just deleted that close. The best way to fix that is when you go out to the main menu, Tools, Empty Cards. It is going to get rid of all the cards that, so you can see there, right there is a problem, so I'm just going to delete it, it gets rid of it, so then it won't show up. The other thing you may find useful 
is if you're adding tags to cards, say I added anatomy to a bunch of cards, but I later deleted those cards, and the anatomy tag still shows up here, even though there's no cards that have that tag, you would go into the tools, check database, and that will remodel everything to make sure it updates it to what the actual deck looks like now. So that's some of the basics. Obviously, keep watching all these other videos, and you can learn more and more. Thanks for learning with the On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.